Hello again, this is Buffy, and I'm going over to another movie called The Martian. Great movie. I can't wait to get back into it because it's got a lot of things. It's just, you know, I cannot uh, express myself. You have to go see it yourself. It is awesome, and I recommend it. It's actually better to watch it in 3D because I, I loved it. I saw it in the 3D, you know, and it was, I just thought, I kind of felt like I was with the story and it kind of brought me into the story. I can swear, I swear. I mean, I remember there was a moment there I had to go to the bathroom. I'm going, oh gosh, I don't want to get away from this because I want to see everything. I want to know how it. I don't, I, I don't want to miss anything from it. I do not want to just stop, just like go to the bathroom because I am not going to leave from this movie and I was going to find out everything from the beginning to the end. And this whole 3D thing is awesome. I'll tell you, it is so off the hook. It's like everything that you can feel. You may not feel physically, but you can kind of visually see it, and it's, oh, it's, everything was so executed. I mean, everything. Um, I just felt like I was a part of the story. I felt like I was, I, there was moments I, I actually had tears. I mean, there was moments I just like, okay. Uh, the mission is, you're supposed to save this dude, and and so, of course, there's going to be X amount of days it, it, for them to get, you know, to him, and it's Wonderful. I mean, you know, I, I, I felt like I need to fall off my chair just as soon as I, as soon as there are some scenes that came in during this because of the 3D. It is awesome. Uh, this movie is actually about two and a half hours. It's a bit uh, time consuming. And I would recommend you better go to bath before you go see this movie uh, if you're going to go. Because um, it's one of those, if you got to go to bathroom, you might as well hold it because it is. It, it is something that you don't want to leave at all from your chair because you do not want to get sucked out of the story because you're so stuck into the story with this whole, you know, what's around you and and everything. It's just like the, the, the 3D is like far back and it's far up. I mean, you can see everybody kind of moving like in different angles as like, and it, I would actually probably be disappointed to go see it in 2D, to be honest. I mean, 3D is like just the best of all. Um, it is a uh, PG-13 movie, and the guy who plays this part is Matt Damon, and he has done a fabulous job as acting, and the only movie I've seen him in is actually in this movie, The Oceans, 11, 12, and 13. He's done a fabulous job in those movies, too. Uh, there we go. And, but, you know, he, I mean, I don't think I've noticed about much other movies I've seen Matt Damon uh, has acted in other than, you know, these, that movie and The Martian, because he's done, so, uh, probably other things I may not, you know, think about watching him in, and it's just, I don't know, I think there's something about the story I really want to get drawn into, I'm not a huge, this kind of, a, uh, um, you know, NASA kind of thing, you know, what, not that kind of a scientist, I mean, I'm not all that great at it, but of course I, I've always uh, have been fascinated, because I want to know what's around this world, I want to see the stars, I want to see, you know, all different kinds of planet, and maybe I am a scientist in another life. Who knows? But I have to say, uh, it, it is a story that sucks you in. It does not, it, it, there's not a point that you will break from it. There's like, you know, it goes to scene after scene after scene. It's executed right from the point it goes into this. Yeah, you know, well, okay, what's going to happen over here? Uh, is he going to, how is he going to survive? You know, it's amazing how a person's mind can really set themselves as the strength that he has shown in this movie that he could get through it overall obstacles and challenges with just him by himself on the Mars. And I always make a joke, it's like, men are from Mars. Well, <laughs> he surely was from Mars. Um, but he, you know, he, uh, it's amazing that he took this other planet and he starts to learn, uh, cause he's, he's a botany and he's, he's got the like, skills that he can survive on his own uh, and learning to uh, do a scientifically, you know, you know, make, you know, all these things that rain and, you know, because a lot of the stuff he doesn't really have up there in that way up in the space because even though it's grounded, he's so, gra uh, it's like, you know, gravity, you know, but the, uh, right there on Mars is like suck, you know, kind of like what we are, we're all sucked down. We're not like gravity, you know, if we're past the moon or past whatever, he's so sucked down to him. And, you know, it's like the, the landscape of the whole round, 
The Mars is just beautiful, breathtaking. I was like, wow. That is awesome. I mean, it is just phenomenally another planet out there. It is so beautiful as much as ours. I mean, the only thing is it doesn't have water. And that's another thing that you don't see much on other planets that you do here on the Earth. So it's kind of nice because I've, I've seen so much about this movie. I mean, I really like this, everything about it. It's just got so much stuff on it. It's got, the story is just so perfectly, I mean, whoever wrote this story is awesome. I think it's, yeah, it came out of the book. And I believe it's probably, I don't know if it's based on true story. I, to, I don't know. I don't want to say yes or no on that. But it, it's really... It, 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 you know, it, it's about how in the world do you survive of what you have if you were accidentally left behind? I will have to tell you, I got to hand it. The guy who plays Matt, uh, uh, the, uh, the character of, by Matt Damon, he's done a wonderful job at demonstrating of what you can do if you were stuck in some areas by yourself. I kind of brought myself to another memory of when I was watching this and he was left behind on accidental, it kind of brought me to that movie called The Castaway where, you know, we have our good favorite actor, you know, um, yeah, oh gosh, him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, you know, come to my mind, it, it slips sometimes, but yeah, he has done a good job too. I mean, um, the, the movie The Castaway is just, you know, only thing I can, similarity, I, I think that, you know, he was on Stuck on the Island and, and, you know, he only had so much to, eat, to do and eat and survive and all that stuff in the X amount of days that goes by. And and he finally got rescued. And it's just the same sort of idea of a story, you know, for the Martian. But, it, you know, he was, uh, you know, and he is an astronaut. He's on a different planet. And there is no water nearby. So he had to learn to make him, uh, you know, survive, uh, you know, the oxygen he needed and everything else to go with it. It's just, it's phenomenal breathtaking. I felt so drawn into it. I would love to go see it like five or six times in the 3D version and rather than in the 2D because I just thought, I feel right into the story. I felt like I was, I could feel in senses, this, this character is, you know, you could feel every single story that you, it, it just, it draws you in like gravity. Exactly. You know, it's just like gravity, it pulls us and, and you know, it keeps it grounded and sometimes the gravity lifts us and we're up in the air and the space and the space and it's like, it's the same sort of idea. And it's just that it sucks you in and it, it kind of gravitate you uh, to the story. And, and, and I tell you, it sure did a good job because I surely did not want to get off my chair to go back because I didn't want to miss any of it. It's pretty good, I have to say. Overall, this whole movie is a plus plus. Why I give it a plus plus? Because it's got, you know, um, the cast and crew and everybody else has done a good job. I mean, it's, well, of course it's going to be edited, but I mean, you know, and of course, you know, a lot of it is done by, the, you know, on studio or whatever. But I have to say, they have done a phenomenal job bringing the story into the life that we think that it, it doesn't even exist, that it's actually done on set or not. It felt like I was just with the planet. On, on Mars, and it felt like I was part of the story into the whole, you know, the breathtaking view of the Mars. I mean, how can you not say it's not pretty to see other planet with different color, different, you know, mountains and different, you know, everything. It's just all there. It's awesome story. I have to say, yes, it is uh, A++ plus plus overall, and I have, uh, including cast and crew, I mean, what more? Uh, two thumbs up, everything. All 100% off the chain. Um, I have not really gotten uh, much to uh, watch the other guys uh, review of uh, what they think about it, but I kind of felt like I want to do this one on my own and kind of go, you yeah, know, okay, you can say what about this, what you want to say about that movie, but I think it's time for me to go ahead and see it for myself. And I have to say, that, yes, it is a good movie to go see. Anyways, I hope that all my... Um, my suggestion and my uh, 401 and how I can bring you to the whole movie and you can see for yourself it is a good movie I'm not going to give any spoiler alert because I cannot tell you anything but it's good and our guy Matt Damon he's done a fabulous job hats off to him I mean he's done a 
wonderful job. Can't you tell? I have no glasses. <laughs> Took it off because I'm so excited because I was like, oh my God, he is so awesome. And, you know, it, it, it's a different transformation seeing Matt Damon from the oceans going into, you know, a different, uh, you know, movie that I'm not used to seeing him in. And he's done a fabulous job. I mean, he's, I don't know what else can I say. Other than great job movie, great job everything. And I hope that all my uh, point of view and, you know, and my reviews will help you to go see the movie yourself because it's still in theater. If you still, if you watch this right now, it's still in theater now. And I suggest watch it in 3D in, three, in, in the theater because the better, uh, if you're sucked into the story, this is the one you want to get into it because it will not want to uh, you know, take you away from the story. Even if you have to go to the bathroom. It did for me. I did not want to get away. I did not want to walk away from this movie. So, it, it, overall, it is a good movie. I don't know. Uh, I mean, yes, as soon as it comes hit to the uh, to the store near New Year uh, when it's released, the first thing, yes, I am going to go store to buy it ASAP because I really want to add to my collection as soon as possible because I really like the story and I could probably watch it over and over again uh, because there's so much going on in the movie. You have to watch it a few times. I mean, what more can you ask for? And I, I don't know. There's not much. I cannot say anything but good good reviews about this movie. That's all I can say. There's not much uh, anything I can say negative about it. It's so positive. It's so... It, it's exp I'm inspired more of the fact that it if we were stuck here somewhere, how would we survive? And, and you know, and, and of course, the uh, lack of communication with so-so, you know, you know, this one's at NASA, and, you know, he, I, I, it brought me, uh, there was some points into it, I wanted to go into tears, I was so excited, I was, every emotion you could think of is all there. So please, go see it, and buy it as soon as it comes out. Uh, don't worry about renting it or something like that, forget that, just buy it. Um, and I hopefully you can buy it on Blu-ray and DVD. And I hopefully that all my suggestions and, uh, I'm excited to tell you this is a good movie. And I am pleased I'm not disappointed. So, anyways, you can follow me on anywhere. Instagram, YouTube, and, you know, uh, Twitter, and, of course, Facebook. All under Buffy Purple, right down there. And comments and suggestions are great. I cannot, uh, I, yeah. Any of them is great. I hope I help you out. And on top of that, you can subscribe right down there. And you can hit like or dislike over there. And um, I do everything with, uh, with by myself. I have no one to do my editing. So I do with no editing on my videos. So <laughs> I, I hope I've done my best. So anyways, thank you for listening and watching everything that I tell you. That uh, Please go watch this movie as soon as you can. And if not, wait until it comes out on DVD because that's the first thing you want to get to your collection ASAP. And on top of that, everything was great. I have nothing to say bad about it. It's A++, plus plus, uh, plus, plus, plus. I mean, five stars all the way around. Oh, uh, this movie, uh, yeah, it is two and a half hour movie. I want to make sure I say that. And hopefully you can go out and get it soon. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. And day, of course, wherever time you're watching it. And talk to you all soon. There's more movies coming soon. Thank you. Agua. Bye-bye.